Time now for the OTR pop quiz. Before we jump in, any last wishes? Hmm. Hmm. All right, here I we go. I nailed it last time. So oh, here we go. Today. Okay, here we go. Question one. She's now in her 90s. She's one of the great heroes of the American labor movement, Dolores Huerta. Which union did she help co-found? Was it, and you've got three choices on the screen. Was it the United Mine Workers, the United Auto Workers, or the United Farm Workers? The United Farm Workers. She and Cesar Chavez co-founded And she didn't hesitate when she answered. She just <laughs> nailed that thing, right? <laughs> Boom. She got it. Okay, good. Question two. As we mentioned, you are a Harvard Law alum. So are several current Supreme Court justices. On the screen, there are names of three of the justices and three justices. One is not a Harvard Law grad. Is it Roberts? Is it Sotomayor? Is it Gorsuch? It's Gorsuch? It is... Ooh. Where am I? I'm, it's I'm on the wrong page. It's, it's Sotomayor. Sotomayor. When, when we rehearsed this, by the way, this is confession time. When we rehearsed this... That was, I, I blew it. I completely I did too. blew it. So. I did too. Can I get bonus points because I was a law school classmate yeah. with Justice Kachanji <laughs> Brown Jackson. Well, you know, proud you know, we, 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 that came up in the discussion while we were going through this yeah. script. And Sonia Sotomayor went to Yale. Okay, I just wanted to give you that. All right. Here's another Supreme Court question. True or false this time? This is a true or false question. Has there ever been a justice who studied law at Transylvania University? Is it true or false? Oh, that sounds like a trick question. Um, I'll, I'll say true. That's a, and, and that's exactly how I approached it when we rehearsed. And it is true. Justice John Marshall Harlan, known as the great dissenter, by the way, Transylvania University, if you're wondering, is in Lexington, Kentucky. So, yes, the answer is true. So, as we mentioned, you're running for attorney general, but let's talk a little bit about a different kind of general. Again, this is a true or false question. Has a former military general ever served as governor of Massachusetts? Is that true or false? Ooh, I'm going to say true. True. Nathaniel Banks and Benjamin Butler were both union generals in the Civil War. So, what is it, three out of four? Three out of four. That's not, not bad. bad. Yeah, the last time she was here, there were only three pop quizzes, and you got two out of three, I think. Or did you get oh, all three? Oh, I think I got all three. Oh, there you, you go. Three. So you're running on the three. 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 It was three, three and three. Magic. Okay, three there is the we number. go. Yeah. Okay, so this is not your first run for a high office. You ran against Senator Ed Markey two years ago for the U.S. Senate. Before dropping out, you were ready to spend $3 million of your own money. How do you convince voters you're not simply shopping for any political office at this point? I... Uh, this job of attorney general is the, the job I was made for. I have been working essentially as a private attorney general for the last 20 years. Um, I'm very excited about the response that I've been getting, the momentum that we are getting across Massachusetts. Um, voters are hearing my message and it is resonating. So I'm very excited about the, the support that I'm getting. I think people see that we need an accomplished attorney to lead the attorney general's office and, and, and that's what I'm looking forward to doing. So it sounds like you even want this office more than you did for the U.S. Senate. You put three million into that race. Are you willing to put three million or more for this race? So, uh, listen, I, um, I got really great experience going around Massachusetts. I met so many people. I learned so much about running for statewide office that time. Um, a lot of people were asking me then, you know, why don't you run for attorney general? That's really the job you were made for. So, uh, so I'm very excited about it. Um, listen, I am, I'm privileged to be able to invest in my campaign. Um, we know that my message is resonating um, and there's a path to victory, which is why I have invested in it. Um, I'm, I'm proud of the fundraising we've been doing. I'm proud of the support that we're getting. Um, and if I need to contribute to make sure we get our message out there, I'm, I'm going to be doing so you've whatever put in, it takes. You've put in a half million, you're willing to put in more. That's the bottom line I'm, here. I'm willing to do what it will take to get our message out so I can focus my time speaking to the voters and talking about what we need to do for Massachusetts workers, consumers, and our environment. There, there, there was a question when you when you ran for the U.S. Senate, if you could get the 15% delegate vote at the state convention needed to get on that ballot. Is there any chance that you won't get the 15% in this race? Oh, I'm, I'm feeling very good about this. We've got an excellent team as I've been traveling around speaking to Democratic town committees. The message is resonating. We're getting lots of support. So, I, so I'm very confident that I'm going to make it. We are doing all the work we need to do, um, and I, I'm very excited to... Um, to hope to earn Massachusetts voters' support for my work. Less than two months general. before the convention. 
Yep, yep, we are. I, I'm out there everywhere. I've been traveling across Massachusetts. I've been spending a lot of time in western Massachusetts. Just a few weeks ago, I stood on the steps of the Springfield Courthouse um, with a um, local union that represents workers in that courthouse and called for the closure of that courthouse because it is a, it is a sick building and people should not have to be doing their business there. Great to have you with us this morning. Thanks for coming in. All right, Great thank to you. see you. Right? Thank Thanks you so much for having me.